What's up everybody, welcome back to another video and today guys I'm gonna be telling you how to uh, stop a laptop or a gaming PC from overheating. Now a lot of you guys probably have the same problem as me and you have an overheating issue with your PC or laptop. So I ne necessarily don't have an overheating problem that my PC will turn off but my temperatures are really high guys. As you guys can see over here, my CPU is currently over 90 degrees Celsius and my GPU is fine, but the CPU is overheating. Now it can go up to 95 Celsius, I believe, so it will be all good, but you really don't want your CPU to be this high temperature because in the long term, it will kind of just like wear it out and it's just really bad having a uh, high temperature CPU like this. Of course, for gaming laptops like the one I have, they run higher temperatures than pc so that's pretty normal for them but i still want to try to cool down this temperature even if it's just a little bit if you're on pc you will probably not get this high temperatures but if you do there are a few things you can do okay first off we're gonna get into the gaming pcs so you guys already know if you are using a stock cooler on your pc um, you're gonna have to upgrade your cooler because your CPU is obviously overheating. And if your GPU, like graphics card, is also getting high, uh, like, uh, temperatures, it could be that your PC case doesn't have enough fans or airflow. So make sure that you have really strong fans. You can always replace the old ones. But of course, a lot of people, um, already have those things and they, or they don't really want to replace it because they don't really have the budget for it or they don't know how to replace their PC fans or CPU fans so don't worry there are a few things you can try without having to change like anything in your pc uh, we're gonna get into the gaming laptops right now because i just want to cover both topics so for this uh for pcs guys the only thing you're gonna do you're gonna check your monitor's refresh rate right so my monitor is 144 hertz right now and i'm getting a decent amount of fps but a lot of people really only have like 75 hertz or um 60 hertz or something like that and then they're upping their fps to this high amount and it's just really unnecessary because your monitor is already not going to support that fps and you're giving your P pc way more um like processing to do because you're putting your fps on unlimited so it's literally generating this ma amount of fps uh this could apply to all games it's not just exclusively to fortnite a lot of people can set their fps in a ton of fps games or any games for in general and they will literally have it on uh, a high option over here because they want it to look cool because they want everybody to see hey my pc can generate a lot of fps well that's cool you can do that and then take a picture and share it on social media that your pc can get a lot of fps but if you're playing turn down the fps because if your monitor only supports 60 fps you're gonna have to turn this down to 60 fps okay uh same with 120 fps or even uh i don't think there is a 75 hertz or 100 hertz option so you're probably gonna have to uh, go between these two over here but definitely 60 fps is pretty good most monitors are 60 fps so you're gonna apply this and uh as you guys can see now the pc is already gonna have less stuff to process so my settings is not low by all means we're just focusing on fps because this doesn't really apply to graphical settings sure it's going to generate more heat on the cpu but the thing that's more graphics card like uh, that basically renders higher graphics for your cpu it's going to focus on fps so the higher your fps the harder your cpu is going to work and that's basically the same if you put a fortnite on performance mode or really low settings and you generate like 300 fps your cpu is going to work harder than it would basically processing high graphics with 60 fps that's just how it works so so let me show you guys my cpu temperatures now that my um fortnite is or the game that i'm playing the fps is now 60 fps let me show you guys so as you guys can see it is currently on 90 celsius right now it's even going to down to 87 so by no means is it really running cold it's it, it just dropped with a few celsius uh for my gaming laptop so it did help a little bit uh by the way this is a um software that came with the laptop it's called armory crate but you can just use specsy or anything to monitor your cpu temperature uh 
um so yeah just go download that if you don't have any way to monitor it uh you can also use task manager to see the usage of course but we're just focusing on the temperature so yeah that's basically one thing you can do of course if you if this is still not working we're still focusing on the i don't know the gaming pcs desktop desktops not laptops so if this doesn't work for you there is another thing you can try right now we are in windows 11 home screen over here but it should work for windows 10 as well you're gonna go to search bar over here guys and you're gonna basically search for edit power plan you're gonna go to this and you're gonna go to change advanced power settings and you're gonna you will see basically this prompt will pop up you're gonna go to processor power management right so minimum power uh, processor state is probably the minimum you want your processor to run out i'm just gonna do five percent because really it's it doesn't matter the problem comes in with maximum processor state so over here this is my laptop that's why you see battery option but if you have desktop computer it won't have this then plugged in mode is on a hundred percent so that basically even if this is on your uh gaming computer not a laptop it will still probably be a hundred percent so that means your cpu is free to use a hundred percent of its utilization which could increase the fps a ton and a lot of the times people don't really need a hundred percent of their processing power that is just to basically the more processing power you have uh this could be for video editing you could render stuff faster you could uh basically not lag if you kind of um, watch your video on the timeline the video editor or if you cut out or loading games you will always see your cpu going to 100 percent utilization but that really doesn't matter because most games already have like a waiting time like basically waiting for players so it's not really going to make a difference if you wait two extra or three extra seconds that's why it does need to be on 100 percent this is just going to increase all of your temperatures believe me when i say this so you can actually play around with the setting make it like 97 percent um stuff like that because remember not everybody has really strong cpu so if you kind of just like turn this down um all the way to like i don't know 70 percent and you have a weak cpu it's gonna be really bad because your cpu is just gonna have uh, not a lot of temp uh, performance basically so you're gonna get even worse performance on your old pc so definitely just turn it down a little bit like this on other pcs but if you have like uh i7 like i have a i uh, intel i7 i think 12 gen so mine is pretty strong so that's why i'm just gonna do this bro i'm just gonna turn this percentage down to 70 uh, so basically I'm cutting off 30% of my CPU utilization. Now I'm going to apply this and basically go back to the game. And we're going to see if we get uh, less temperatures. Right here you guys can see my new CPU temperatures. So as you guys can see it's on uh, 78 Celsius right now. I also did turn down my laptop fans. That's why this is on silent over here. Because there was really no need to have the fans on like a really high RPM uh as you guys can see it's it's down to like i think it was like 6500 rpm or something but now it's like 3700 rpm and the temperature is already down by a lot and i even decreased the fans so i definitely don't want my fans to work overly hard but 80 celsius is really good for a gaming laptop because especially mine because mine is like a really thin gaming laptop it's not even like a normal gaming laptop it's like a um the I don't know a slim version or something so there's really not a lot of space in the laptop for uh cooling so that's why this temperature is really good for me it's pretty high i know that but uh i'm still gonna get pretty good fps and uh yeah it's definitely a lot better um so if you have a gaming pc your high temperatures will probably probably be like uh, 80 celsius or something that's considered high um even 95 it doesn't really matter but you probably will get your uh, gaming pc's uh te cpu temperature down to like wow guys almost honestly even 60 celsius will be probably really good for your gaming pc oh i think fortnite zone is coming in oh wow there we get eliminated but basically yeah 60 celsius anything for a gaming pc between i would say 55 
uh, and about 75 Celsius, even 80 Celsius is pretty good for a gaming PC. It's just because they have a, a lot more space, a lot more cooling, stuff like that. But for uh, you probably get better results on a gaming PC because this is a um, a laptop. So this uh, laptop, gaming laptop temperatures are always high. Everybody knows that. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. It was uh, in the beginning of the video was at like 90. Um, how much Celsius was it, guys? I think 95 Celsius or something. So this is a lot better. Honestly, I'm I'm happy with it, and my laptop's fans are not working overly difficult. So. Yeah, guys, definitely do this with your uh, gaming laptop or your gaming PC. Of course, if you have a gaming laptop and you want to cool it even more, you can also get a, uh, a aftermarket cooler for your gaming laptop that you actually place under it. That will also work for you guys. So, yeah, that's basically the temperatures. And we got eliminated in Fortnite. How bad is this, guys? But, yeah, so I don't know if this video helped you guys it is basically just a guide um without kind of having to replace your uh cpu fan or pc fans or having to buy a laptop cooler because remember this problem you might still have this problem don't get me wrong because it could be a completely different issue like it could be your fans are um, dusty it could be your fan is not strong enough for your cpu or your gaming laptop is not getting enough airflow it could be a ton of things also make sure your gaming laptop is cleaned regular regularly if you stay in a really dusty environment you're gonna have to clean it every six months and definitely don't do that yourself if you don't know what you're doing of course uh take the laptop to where you're where you bought it or get a a specialist or something that can um change it somebody that actually knows what they're doing so you don't damage a laptop because opening a laptop is kind of difficult guys i'm gonna be honest with you guys you can damage a lot of things if you open your laptop on your own and you don't know what you're doing um but yeah for a gaming pc uh you also need to turn clean out your your dust that's not too difficult you could probably manage that on your own with a um compressor or a can of compressed air or something like that that's really easy way to clean it uh also if you if you're scared you're scared you're gonna damage something just also take that to your pc shop or wherever you can kind of find help with that um so yeah if this video didn't help for you let me know in the comments and uh yeah maybe we can i can think about something tell me all the problems you have with your pc i could try to answer you guys in the comments with any problems you might have and um yeah that's basically it guys just uh let me know if this video helped you and i hope this improves your gaming experience make sure to go check out this video up here guys this is actually my monitor unboxing and review or not unboxing but it's a review of this monitor so if you want to go check this out make sure to go check out this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace out